So, in case you haven't noticed, um, I am in a survival world that I just started in. You may be asking yourself, well, wait, why is he in a survival world? I thought he was on multiplayer, right? Well, I've come to a realization with myself that is not a very good realization to come to. It's the fact that I've never beat the Inner Dragon by myself. You need to stop everything. What are you doing with your life? Yes, you heard me correctly. I've never beat the Inner Dragon by myself. It's just something I've never done. Something I've never put time and effort for. So... That's what I'm doing. Totally gonna do that. Totally not gonna fucking die from skeletons. I am Zarin, and welcome to the quest to kill the Inner Dragon. <laughs> Okay, so first let's go ahead and get ourselves sorted here. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed of myself that I haven't beaten the, the Ender Dragon by myself before. Like, I've done it on console with a bunch of friends, but I've never done it by myself. And honestly, it's kind of like a rite of passage. It's like, you beat the Ender Dragon by yourself, you're basically a legend. I mean, I, it shouldn't be that hard. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Like, I've seen videos of people doing it, and it's not really that hard. So, we're gonna find out, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get completely obliterated. Oop, skeleton's coming at me. No, no! Gotcha, bitch! <gasps> oh, jeez! Christ? <laughs> this fuck up so scary. Well, fuck that. That, that, that shit sucked ass. I, I just want to tell you guys something real quick. Um, I originally made a different world for this, right? And I... I made it and... I had a really, really good start, right? Well, good slash bad. So I spawned on this island, and it was a really, really small island. And basically, I, I used bump, I used bump bonus chests all the time, just in that scenario, right? So I wouldn't be like stuck on an island, not having a boat or anything like that. So I started sailing to find land, right? Because there weren't any trees on an island. So I'm sailing and I find shipwreck after shipwreck after shipwreck. Can't find mainland anywhere. And it's like annoying as hell. So I keep looking and I, I'm that's, at this point I have like two stacks of iron ingots from just treasures. And I have like 30 diamonds and I'm like, bro, I can't find land. I can't do anything. <laughs> so, so I'm like, okay. Screw this, let's start another world. <laughs> but like, I copied that world, and I looked at the settings, I set it to a buffet. The ocean world. By accident. And I was so confused to myself, because I wasted like an hour and a half doing that. So I'm gonna post, or not post, I'm gonna put a, a clip of that <laughs> at the end of this episode. And hopefully, you, you guys understand like what I was looking at because it was it was stupid also Turn on my shaders I didn't have those on the entire time. Oh Hello sheep I'm killing them because I need the leather for the bookshelves and stuff for when they get an enchantment table. Plus, they give me meat, just food. You have a skeleton shoots me right now. I am screwed. No, 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 no. Please tell me I got it. 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 Okay, okay.
I got it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I should probably start gathering some wood. First, make sure there's no creepers nearby. Hello, creeper. Alright guys, I am back, um, made a little bit of progress here, I went ahead and made a little bit of a farm here and gotten the layouts of my home completed. So for the most part, I'm, I've mostly been a, um, more of like a viking medieval type of builder, right? Like all wood and stone and stuff like that. Well, I'm still going to do that, but I'm going to do it in a different style. I'm going to do it in this Victorian style, from what I've seen from other people doing it. So, I'm going to use birch, which I know people are going to be like, What the fuck are you using birch? And I'm like, I don't care. That's why. Yeah, I'm going to use cobble on the bottom, and then birch on the top. Yeah, that actually looks kind of nice, though. Alright, alright. Uh, I'll have slabs going for the floor. So it'll, it'll look pretty good, pretty good. Alright, we got a little bit more cobblestone here from the mine. Uh, I need to keep... Actually, here, I'm just going to do that now. Dude, I swear to God, if you... I thought he was going to set me on fire. Now what I can do is I can do this. I can texture it a little bit. No, I don't want it like that, though. Let's, um... Do it like that, and then grab some andesite. That up there. And then put some more right there. Um... We have some gravel. We can put some gravel in there as well. Like that. These look a little bit more uh, worn down like it's been there a while. Like this right here is what it, what it was supposed to look like. Or yeah, this right here is what it was supposed to look like. And I went to that stage and then that stage and then that stage. Or I could do the stone instead of the andesite. The stone would probably match a bit more. Yeah, I'll do stone instead of andesite. Yeah. The stone matches this, these stone bricks a bit more. So yeah, it looks like it's uh, pretty good. Alright, well, I'm about to wrap it up here, guys, for that episode, or for this episode, whichever one you want to call it. Um, If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Please comment down below what you enjoyed today, uh, whether it be me admitting that I haven't killed the Ender Dragon, or whether it be the, my attempt at building something over there. But, anyway, I am Zarin. Have a good day. Peace.